Hello, this is Susan with Quantum Discovery Network. Featuring Mars Anomalies, his last live hangout was just a few days ago. And he has this um, section called uh, Gigapan. He takes a gigapan and he lets us look at it real nice and close. So that's what I did. So I'm featuring Mars Anomalies and Beyond. And I totally appreciate Chris. He does a great job. Okay, like this is a raw gigapan. And you could do live chat on his um, live stream. And talk to him directly, ask questions, talk about anything you want to talk about uh, as far as Mars and, and the moon and other planets. He zeroes in on stuff. He finds stuff and it's stuff that can be undeniable that it is mechanical, that it is not from this world we have here a bunch of um these little hooks hooks and they they look like they're all kind of the same and they're all kind of going the same direction another one here don't know why they have hooks in them um it just doesn't seem natural that that uh right here especially doesn't seem natural that mother nature could create something like that even after years and years of erosion explosion um there's an almost perfectly round circle area right there which is very strange to find stuff like that there's another hook right there uh on mars it just looks like things have been blown up and torn apart over here. That is another hook type of thing. It doesn't look like natural rock. It looks like it's squared off. So we have a hard time figuring out what this stuff is because NASA does cover stuff up. But there are things of interest like this right here look, looks almost like it's something exploding out of the wall and then there's these angled parts down below it's like why are they squared off like that why is there like a circle right here why is this like squared off like that it's it's almost a perfect angle uh blown up angle that is and then here's some other parts up in here that look like trailings of some type of uh, transit system that's maybe pulled under the ground and they have all these little rails and things that are hooked together pulled under the ground and when when the Mars exploded everything just kind of blew up and erupted through all of the ground look at all these little parts over here they all kind of look the same they're all long cables with little hooky things on the end I don't know sure see that my dog she wants to go out to go potty she rings a bell um here's some more right there look at those parts right there and there that looks like a it doesn't belong there like a uh hang on sweetheart mama's busy oh and right here there's more right here all these look like parts Ah, oh, what's that? Is that a piece of dirt on the screen? I don't know. Look at that. Look at that right there. That just looks like something that was created, was, was structure. Right down here. That just doesn't even look, that just looks like cables that belong together. Uh, possibly pulling things through the earth or not the earth well now we do that in earth too so why wouldn't we have learned from something that was ancient a long time ago okay we got uh, 
side of the hill here. Um, now this I found kind of strange because we have, see this is kind of cut off like a face in a way and then there's this hood thing on top with a little round knobby coming out of that circle and then you got this curvature thing here. What is that? And then this, is this actually sand or is this covered up by NASA? Huh, I don't know. Look at that. That's kind of a weird looking rock. We got some more pieces up here that just don't they they look like other pieces that don't fit in so much. Um let's see what else we got. There we have See, now Chris and Mars Anomalies and Beyond, he thought that this could be, possibly have been a foundation structure of some sort. Um, sure looks like one. I mean, that looks like little stairs right there and going up. And then you've got all these different kind of rocks that are just lined up in a row and squared off. And kind of makes you wonder what... See, like that. Look at that squared off rock right there, right next to that rounded rock. There's another one that's squared off. That that almost could look like a tunnel right there uh, in some cases. And then there's this, this <laughs> NASA sand back here. But this is, see how that's squared off right there? And look at that. Looks like a caved in roof right there. What's this? What's that part right there? Look at that square with the hookies on it and it's got a hole in it right there. You know, I'm not technical about anything. I'm an artist and I see things. I have drawn things and I have many of those videos that you can take a look at. Uh, I feature Mars Anomalies and Beyond in my videos as well. And I'm just starting this new format, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's fun for me. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> um, okay, so this is kind of a this is kind of messy looking right in here. What is all that stuff? Ah, uh, let's see if we could zoom in a little bit. Hang on. Yeah, look at that. Okay, there's cuts and pieces and angles i mean that just that just looks like a bunch of junk that's been thrown up into the crevices of whatever this was at one time because you know they say that it was covered with water look at all look at right in here all these right in there that just looks weird how the nature carves that or it could be just something frozen in time um that that right here is a reflection in my home, but, oh, yeah, okay, so, look at that right there, it's got, like, it just, how does Mother Nature make such a fine-looking piece of rock? Oh, there's another one of those little hooky things right here. Uh, I, I firmly believe that there was underground transportation at Mars, and that's what's been exploded and come to the surface. Beautiful sand dunes. Oh, and they're not very big, according to, uh, what is that? Right, right there. Right there. Those almost look like pipes coming out. Let's get a better, let's, let's get a. Yeah. Hmm. Right there. Look at the angles in that. Huh. That's different. Okay. Um. Now, up in here, look at all those pieces up in here that have squared off. And it's so funky, too, that there's all these little rocks sitting on top of these bigger rocks. 
Um, why couldn't those little rocks have been little hooks or hinges? Look at those squared off sections here. You could tell by the... Now, did NASA darken this area to make those look square? I don't know. I don't... It's hard to tell, but that's very squared off right there. And even up in here, look at that right there. So you have that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. You got these like pipe things coming out. And then it's really super squared off. Huh. Okay. Um, okay. Here's some more. Does, Mo does Mother Nature actually erode in such a way that look at this right right there look at that angle i mean how is that even possible huh okay and this that uh, this right here i mean how is that even possible for mother nature to to create the same looking pattern throughout Mars and the moon. Ah, uh, you got me. Unless they both blew up at one time. Oh, wow. Okay. Quantum Discovery Network. Well, Let's go back up here a little bit. Okay. So, um, I decided that I was going to kind of feature people like Chris at Mars Anomalies and beyond because he does such good work and I really want people to see the kind of work that he does. Um, and I want you to go to his channel and take a look and please subscribe and give him all the support you can because he really does put out good work look at that now if that was like a train coming out of a tunnel that could be like the the pulley system i don't know is that nasa right there in there making covering stuff up hard to say but uh Anyway, <laughs> that's Quantum Discovery Network, and I'm glad to be back. Hope to see you again soon. Bye now.